Hi, I'm John McAuliffe, Chief Marketing Officer of VFM Leonardo, and welcome to the VTV channel. VTV has been produced for hotel e-commerce, marketing, and sales professionals to provide insights, knowledge, and learnings from industry experts on how to extract more value from a hotel's presence on the internet. Each week, I interview an industry expert on a single topic. We encourage you to email us at vtv at vfmleonardo.com and suggest topics that you would like us to cover in future episodes. Today, I'm pleased to be joined by Felix Lavoie, the President and General Manager at Sabre Hospitality Solutions. Felix is a well-respected expert in the travel industry. He pioneered the development and integration of many hospitality internet marketing best practices and solutions that are today replicated and embraced industry-wide. Felix founded eSight Marketing in 1999, the first internet marketing company specializing in online business solutions exclusively for the hospitality industry. He was named one of the top 25 extraordinary sales and marketing minds of 2008 by the Hospitality Sales and Marketing Association International. Felix, thank you for joining us on VTV and welcome. John, thank you for having me today. Our episode, uh, or our topic today, is the next revolution in online hotel marketing. And I know that I would be interested to hear from you, and I'm sure that our audience would be, uh, is what your opinion uh, and what you think are the next major developments that will revolutionize online hotel marketing. Well, John, that's a, that's a loaded question. <laughs> uh, I, I, think, I think there are a few things that I would say I think from our perspective, it's an, a, something called you know, behavioral targeting for hotels' websites. So the ability to for a hotel to be able to provide in-context information and then booking for consumers. So for example, if you're a family traveler and you're looking at family-related websites, and uh, then you then you maybe link to a resort website that once you arrive at that resort website, that that resort website provides content, imagery, and packaging that is rele relevant for the family traveler since you've come from a family related website. And, and I think that's that's something that's going to change how websites interact with consumers and vice versa. That, that no longer will the consumer come to the website and just have to search and find the information that they'll be presented with that information as they're going navigating through the site. So not just will the information come, uh, you know, be presented once you come from an external website, but as you're actually navigating that resort website, more information will, will be presented. So let's say that that traveler uh, potential travel, a family traveler is is going through the website. They, maybe they go to a section on the imagery, and the imagery would have family related photos as part of their offering. Then maybe they click onto an area about packages, and then the packages would have family related offerings. And then perhaps they click on another area about activities in the local area, and then the the activities that are presented have a family. Uh, you know, side to them, a family content, if you will, to them. And I think that's something that's going to be very important. Uh, I think, go ahead. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. Uh, I think another important component is just the sort of the convergence of, of all of the channels and, um, you know, marketing opportunities that, that hoteliers have. So, for example, you know, I think in the past, Hotels would look at a couple of different ways of generating their business. You know, they look at their own sales team. They look at you know advertising and marketing. Uh, they maybe get some help from the OTAs. But I think what what I'm seeing is that for the future is that they'll actually look at more data. So they'll look at their you know revenue management data. They'll look at their customer relationship management uh, software and their customer relationship management plans. And then they'll look at all of those other elements, like using OTAs, their own website, other distribution channels, you know, the GDS. Um, and then they'll combine all of those elements to really have a more powerful plan moving forward. I think that's something that that's really the convergence of all these areas is something that's going to be important in the future. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, you know, as as industry people, we oftentimes look at these third party channels based on. Uh, our view of them based on their business model, i.e. an OTA is, is 
is a, an online travel agency that's designed to book hotels, whereas um, I'm not sure that uh, travel shoppers have the same simplistic view of the world, and they might be going to a Travelocity, for example, uh, to search and or compare hotels, but not buy there, and end up going to um, uh, the hotel's website to actually do the purchasing. Uh, so it's interesting that you talk about uh, creating a comprehensive plan that looks at all of these electronic channels and presents the hotel in a cohesive way across all of them in a combination. What types of, of um, uh, things should a hotelier look at in order to achieve that? Well, I think you know that's actually one of the reasons, uh, the main reasons why Sabre Hospitality Solutions was formed. We you know we formed that company because we wanted to combine the the various offerings that we have at Sabre for hotels and put them on, under one umbrella, if you will, one leadership, uh, you know, one movement moving forward. And it's because the, the consumers are, are asking for that. You know, the consumers are saying, help me as a hotelier understand all of the different channels and how can I best manage those channels? How can I best take advantage of those channels? Whether it's my, how do I get my content, my you know, imagery, my rich media, how do I get that information out to all of these channels in the best manner possible. How do I get my, uh, you know, rates out in the best manner possible? How do I get my packaging, my promotions out in the best manner possible? Uh, you know, we envision a day where where hotels will will automatically understand that if they're putting out an offer, whether it's an offer on Google, whether it's an offer on their website, whether it's an offer on a third party. Uh, website that might be you know relevant have relevant customers uh, whether it's the an OTA that that all of those offers will be consistent and that the consumers will feel that that they don't have to go through all these different places that they're, they they know they're going to have the same uh, information wherever they search uh, for that particular property and it, and it sounds like a lot of these um, initiatives are designed around helping the hotelier actually increase the conversion level of those people that are looking at their property, whether that's on uh, third-party channels or on their own website. Uh, is that where the focus is these days with hoteliers, is actually helping them extract more value out of the people that, that are searching for their hotels online? Absolutely, John. As, as, we know, as we know, if we've been in the business for any amount of time, you know, budgets are always uh, tight in in hotels. Uh, no one has extra money, if you will, uh, floating around that they can use. So they have to really use their marketing budgets effectively and efficiently. So I think what what we're seeing is is properties are looking at what where they're spending money and how much conversion can they get. So we look at elements. Take take for example a website. We'll look at different ratios. Uh, something called visitor to look or look to book ratio. So a visitor to look ratio is how many visitors come to your website that actually look at your booking engine so that they're making a, you know, a decision to look at possibly making a, a purchase. And then we also then then take a, another step forward and take a look to book. So how many visitors actually look at the booking engine and then book, make a reservation. And so these are metrics that are that are really important for hotels to understand because it gives them in data, it gives them information as to maybe their rates are too high, maybe their rates are too low based on these look to book ratios. Maybe they're, uh, you know, they can take advantage of these these ratios and see how they can change their whether it's their content on their website, uh, their you know other information on their website, uh, in, in the sense of so let's say if if a hotel if a consumer went to a website looked at the booking engine. And then saw that on the booking engine uh, that perhaps the the room type was a king bed, and it was you know let's say two hundred U.S. dollars, but they had an image next to that room type that could show them what view they had maybe, uh, and then maybe the another rate might be a king bed with a view, and it was a two hundred and fifty dollar U.S. dollar uh, rate, and it had a, a an image of that view. Wouldn't it make the consumer much more likely to make a reservation uh, based on that imagery, based on the, the rates, and they could compare and contrast. 
and then be able to be more informed. So I think these are elements that that we always speak to our customers about that that will help them generate more revenue and more conversion. So it certainly sounds like uh, there's a number of activities that you have at Sabre Hospitality Solutions that are helping uh, hoteliers increase their look-to-book ratios uh, or conversion, if you will, and behavioral targeting uh, being the one that allows them to um, serve up relevant and, and content in context. Uh, and the other interesting part is, is there are certain activities that allows hotel or uh, travel shoppers to compare and contrast the different offerings a hotel might have through the use of content. Exactly, and I think that's what you'll you know what you'll start to see, especially where when when budgets you know are, are tight, hotels want to see more conversion. Uh, and and in, in our case, what we've been able to do, and this is what the customers are asking for, is that they're looking at how do we take the information that comes from our website, the information that comes from our, you know, potentially our CRS system, that comes from maybe how the uh, hotels are using uh, the GDS, uh, and maybe in terms of media or let's say, you know, our sister company Travelocity. We're able to put all those elements together and give the property a more informed uh, data set, if you will, of information so they can make smarter marketing decisions and, and get higher conversions. Felix, thank you very much. Uh, another uh, great episode with wonderful insights for uh, our audience. John, thank you very much. It's been my pleasure. To all the viewers out there, be sure to post your comments on this episode of VTV and subscribe to our feed to receive more valuable insights from industry experts.